And we get the heroic dash, probably the uh, one of the best abilities, actually. We haven't gotten the best one yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, watch out for that uh, crocodile. Uh. But yeah, Quick Claw, we see very little of, but he's also very hilarious. We have St. Clair's men here, uh, ready to take over. Ow. Oh, you suck. They don't do much. They throw TNT, you stand right next to them, they get ready to attack you. Come on, you chook. And they don't do anything. Literally, they're uh, just here's a nuisance. Get out. Get out. And we want to go ahead and do this. Eventually, I'll destroy the sacred statues. We want to go ahead and make a way up over here to that glowing thing, which we want. Torch. So there we go. There are two in total, as you can probably guess. Oh, thank you. The second one's over there. We cannot, however, get over there by uh, jumping means. Oh. Well, I guess I'm swimming back. Also, conveniently, we can't go forward right here. So we need to head back to this one. Basic question, though. If the truck's here perfectly fine, how deep is this water? Wow, that was a miss. The alligators also don't go for them. Which I thought would have been a cool touch, but also very, very gruesome. To have the alligators go out to the guys. Actually, we can do. Since they have such terrible aim. Apparently so do I. Take him out, just to get him out of the way. Oh, it's the second one. And... There we go. Just so it don't give me any problems. Dang it. Alright, what's out of here? If you fall into water like I did, uh, the best way to get out is to go ahead and let the alligator uh, bite you up. And then whoop. Whoop. Uh, I think what we want to do, actually. Now let's try this. This might be the best route to go. There we go. And so the temple door whoops. We don't want to do that. The temple doors have been opened. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Uh you wanna actually ignore those vines for now, you can't do anything over there. And ignore all the men and go inside the temple. Welcome to Monkey Temple. I bet this never happened to that Jones guy. Uh, classic reference to Indiana Jones. Yeah, so now we are a monkey. <laughs> the pea 
escape through that door. I'll never get my body back. So yes, uh, the Harry just told us exactly what we need to do. Uh, we need to catch on to our body like this. Let the uh, mama hit us. And that's it. I want you to do it four times, and you need to do it within uh, the amount of time they give you. Come on, Harry. He gets smarter as time goes on. So this was easy enough to do, but it's also very annoying. What also makes it irritating? Oh, never mind. That's what's good. Uh, I'll say what makes it irritating is the mom sometimes doesn't show up uh, that quickly, so. Come here. And. Final time! Now that was weird. Yes, it was. Could you imagine walking to a temple all of a sudden your body's inside a, uh, a baby? That'd be odd. And there's a thing down here. Come to me. And so we got a tablet thing. Actually, let me do a little exploring. I don't think I've ever looked around this room. Uh, yeah, there's nothing down here. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and head back the way we came. We're pretty much done here in the temple. I thought you were going back to base camp. I was going to, but I thought, why not take in the sights a bit first? You can read those? Dad taught me. What do they say? Well, there's something here about these temples having animal spirit guardians that steal men's souls. Typical ancient curse. Yeah, typical. Anything else? Just some legend of a lost, magical city. A stupid myth. Would this have anything to do with that stupid myth? I think it's some kind of key. Where did you find it? Picked it up off the ground. These things are everywhere. Liar. Ah! Run! It's okay. That's just quick claw. You know this animal? Yeah. A sorcerer gave him the power of speech, so I found out. Again and again. Say something. <laughs> Very funny, Quicklaw. Come on, talk. Talk, you feline freak! Don't worry. I won't let that crazy man hurt you. I'm gonna go find a squirrel, because you two are nuts. Beating that monkey spirit had opened a door heading straight into native territory. I decided then that if I was going to make any headway, I'd have to come to some kind of truce with the locals. So, I set out to find their village. And this is why we hate Nicole and Clip Quipclaw. Because they suck. No, not really. But yes, we are done here in the uh, flooded courtyard. Go ahead and just ignore the alligator crocodile thing. And let's proceed forth. Wow, that thing's persistent. On to twin outposts. Now, luckily, since I have the uh, super sling, sling, whatever, I don't see anyone yet. So we see still a village here. How's it do up there? Ah, you got me. It's the worst feeling to overshoot something. Ah, you got me again. Got you. Now if we come behind the uh, little area right here, other than having some uh, different looking natives, we have an idol. Why did you sound like you were to my right? 
It's okay, he's dead. There's some more of them. Uh, yeah, there's one right here. Alright, perfect. So we want to go ahead and get up here. Because we obviously saw the uh, second idol up there. Ah, dang it. This was always kind of tricky to get up to, because, um, that vine over there is quite a ways away. Hero Dash seems to work, though. Yoink! And let's go ahead and go down. I love that if you, uh, go down a, a ladder, hip, uh, here we go. So now we're in the water, and thankfully... The one thing I like is this uh, game does underwater very well for the fact that it does it very little. You're underwater, I think, a grand total throughout the story twice. So they're attacking that building, which means they're up to no good. So we have to kill them. There we go. And hello, dude. And then he died. So we want to go ahead and come up here. And it takes us to the Turtle Monument. Here we see natives battling each other and the monkeys. Go ahead and make sure I don't get grabbed. Alright, good. Oh, that didn't sound good. Sound like we have closed it. What? Can you make it up onto this ledge? Then I can use your torch to see. That sounds like Leech. What's he doing here? Wanna break that guy out. And you wanna actually uh not face him and lure him over this way. There's a switch right here which we stand on. Reveals a rent in the pot. We wanna go ahead and have that guy stand in there. And he's stuck in there forever. Yeah, no explore. <laughs> now we did that. We want to go ahead and go to where Leech is. I don't know why I did that. Let's try to do that. Come on. Get out of here. There should be one more guy over here. Ah, oh, you jerk. I'm gonna heal real quick. Into darkness. Greetings and salutations. Now, if you come over here, you'll see there's leech right there. If you enter without the torch, the cutscene won't begin. Ah, much better. Got a question. Bittenbinder told me that your group is here looking for Kevin McAllister. What was McAllister looking for? Another page from the Heroic Handbook. You know, helps you be heroic. The Aura Handbook. McAllister? Okay, okay. He was looking for El Dorado. El Dorado? That's just a myth. So they say. But I don't trust they, or them, or him, or her. In fact, I'm suspicious of all pronouns. I think El Dorado is real. So where do you fit in? I'm interested in time travel. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. I'm just interested. And so we get to Heroic Dive. The single best ability in the game. Look how maneuverable you are now. 
It's so it's so terrible trying to play this game without that build. -in. But yes, we found out why people were here. Uh, Kevin McAllister apparently was looking for El Dorado. Let's go over here to the native village. You can't enter. Why? Because if you do, I kill you. I can't even come in for a visit? If you visit, I kill you. You're kind of hung up on this killing thing, aren't you? You ask me any more questions, I kill you. Don't mind him. Everyone is tense since Mika, the princess, vanished. What if I find her for you? You still here? I kill you. I've never understood why princesses always seem to be in need of saving. But if that's what the natives wanted out of their hero, I figured I could deliver. Even though I'd never met any, no princess could resist the charms of Pitfall Harry. Oh, Pitfall Harry. This part right here with the guy going, I Q you, was always one of my uh, father's favorite parts. Oh, uh, it was actually him who uh, liked this game, and the reason why I play is because uh, he did. It's not normal how that cutscene plays out. The AI in this game is a little weird. But you, nah, normally the monkey breaks it, just roars. I like that it actually got uh, hit by it though. But yeah, my father always liked the part where the guy going, I kill you. Um, excuse me? Your name is Pitfall Harry. You dig things up and fight evil. Sounds about right. But how do you... What did you just do? How can I help you, Harry? I've been by your village. I think they're worried about you. I just wanted some butterflies. Why? You don't need a reason to want something. If I get you some butterflies, will you go home? If you'd like me to. Butterflies coming right up. Who likes fetch quests? So yes, uh... This game's a little weird. Harry seems to have two love interests. Well, there's an idol back here. Gotcha. And we need to get uh, 12 butterflies for the princess. I forget how to pronounce her name. Miki, Miki, Riki. She's obviously the hero pawn. Ah, uh, let's see my blade. Oh no, I don't want to do that. But yes, uh, which, what I would recommend doing is coming all the way over here and grab these guys first. Because if you put your torch away, land in water or anything, all the butterflies will go back. This monkey is also particularly annoying to get by. Oh, nope. Need to make our way over here. So there's quite a... Ah, you jerks. Oh, thank you. That's kind of you to kill your buddy for me. Uh, nope. I don't go here. I believe there's one more over here. Yep. So there's ten in total. Well, not in total, but right now we have ten. And there's two more over here at start. So yeah, easy enough fetch quest. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Come and visit me at the village sometime. Phase one of my plan was complete. Rescue Princess from the clutches of evil butterflies. Phase two was about to start. Being welcomed with open arms at the native village. So yes, there we go. Now we can head back to the village and we'll be welcome as heroes. The battle seems to have subsided down here though. 
Oh, that's right. 